So for test one, we're going to, given the graph below, determine if the function at each of x is continuous at the following values. It is continuous if you're going to to trace the graph at that particular interval. It will, you will not go to lift the ball pen. Example for number one, x is equals to two, and this is the graph. We know that this is x is equals to two. So kapag trace mo ang graph, galing sa kay x sa x equals to two. Kung ilil, hindi mo ililift ang ball pen, so ibig sabihin that's continuous, continuous. So we're checked. If it is x is equal to negative 1, this is negative 1. So x is equal to negative 1. So galing ka dito, kasi open siya, ibig sabihin magja-jump ka. Kasi kung magja-jump ka, ibig sabihin yan, it's not continuous. Kapag open ang graph x is equals to 4 so this is x is equals to 4 open rin siya so ibig sabihin you will not pass the ililift mobile pen kasi hindi kadadaan dyan so it is still not continuous so that's how are you going to determine if it is continuous or not so however if the graph is given for example for this one test 2 determine if the following functions are continuous at a given value of x so what we're going to do kapag um it's easy if it's polynomial. Kapag this one polynomial, diba? It, if they are polynomials, it's all continuous and all it uh, all real numbers. So, ito kasi real numbers siya, so continuous siya. It's just continuous also. If it is polynomial. But if it is not polynomial, just like number 3, 1 over x minus 4. So, how could you determine if open siya or close? ang point. So, what you're going to do is, in this one, diba, magiging zero lang siya kapag magiging zero lang ang denominator kapag four, kasi four minus four, it's zero. So, other values other than four, that's check. So, check. But if this x is equals to four, that's x kasi four minus four is zero. So, bawal ang denominator magiging zero because it's undefined. Also for this one, kapag undefined ang answer, kapag alimbawa kung ang 4, ipalit mo 4 dito, pag undefined ang answer or imaginary numbers, that's that makes it not continuous. So for this one, magiging 4 minus 10. So 4 minus 10 is negative 6. And we know that's negative 6. It's an imaginary number because there's no square root of a negative number. So this is not continuous. So that's how you're going to determine if it is continuous or not. We'll proceed with test 3. Test 3. Is the function g of x, x if x is, is greater than, is that greater than, less than or equal to 0? 3 if 0 is, is x is greater than to 0 but less than or equal to 1 and this one and this one. So on Zero to interval zero to one four to eight. So letter A, the first interval is zero one. So included in one. So if we're going to check the function sancha na belong then zero to one. It's in ito siya zero to one, then dito siya zero to one, and it's in three. So g of x is equals to three. Kapag g of x is equals to 3, kapag constant siya, kapag constant dito, it's, it's the function g of x should be continuous on. So, if it is continuous, yes or no to identify. Kapag function, kapag um, constant term siya, it's continuous. Kapag constant function. Letter B. Letter B is 4 and positive infinity 4 and positive infinity as you can see 4 to positive infinity is nandito siya so x is greater than 4 so ibig sabihin it's from it's 4 mas malaki sa 4 until positive infinity so the function is g of x is equals to x minus 3 again kapag in a polynomial function it's Continuous sa lahat ng values of real numbers. So this is also continuous. So that's how you're going to identify if it is continuous or 
Nein.